She's had severe panic attacks, severe panic attacks that put her in hospital. Now, she's never been taught breathing to control her anxiety, her emotions, okay, and it's taken a while for her to come to me. So she enrolled in university, had to leave university to come home because it was just too much. So we regulated her breathing rate, breath rate, got her in a functional breathing state to downregulate. We give her some breathing exercises to downregulate the CO2, build more tolerance to the CO2, because in a traumatic event, what happens? We come into the event, we start to hyperventilate. So our biology is actually producing psychology, okay? Mm -hmm. We have that trauma, we start to hyperventilate, and that becomes a pattern, and we start to develop that, okay? So whenever we go into that experience again, our biology, um, our breath rate increases, and then our psychology remembers that event, and then we back off. We slowed her breath rate down, we got some breathing exercises going, and the coolest thing is, she hasn't been hospitalized in the last eight months. She went into the supermarket and she had more interoceptive awareness of her internal state because she slowed down her breath rate. She felt the panic sensation come on. She removed herself from the supermarket. She was with her friends. She sat in the car. She said, we've got to do our breathing, downregulated, and had more confidence to go into that situation again. Amazing. And that's just by mm-hmm. taking control of her breath, not by taking medication. And she's been taking medication for four to five years. 